elements of Shakespeare's classic comedies keep reappearing in romantic comedies today. Love, mistaken identity, jealousy, the complexities of relationships, and of course, the happy ending. 10 Things I Hate About You is no exception. It's actually a modern retelling of Shakespeare's classic, The Taming of the Shrew. And boy, Julia Stiles and Heath Ledger nail the lead roles in this one. This film delivers a fresh modern take on Shakespeare's classic. And one of the key elements, well-defined characters, is right there every step of the way. They have distinct personalities and they have unique quirks. What escalates this film to the next level is our well-defined protagonist, Kat, played by Julia Stiles. She's intelligent, quick-witted, and she's got a sarcastic sense of humor. She's got a hard exterior, but throughout the film, we see she is vulnerable. That allows us to connect with her. For instance, her relationship with her younger sister, Bianca, who's totally different from Kat, but we see that protective instinct of Kat kick in, and we respect that. This Shakespearean classic is made more relatable because it takes place in a modern day high school. And this high school setting is distinct. It was shot in Tacoma, Washington at Stadium High School. And check it out, it looks like a castle. It's picturesque, but it draws us into another world outside of our own. Balancing humor with heart is a key ingredient to the success of any good romantic comedy. And Heath Ledger uses music to enhance the emotional impact of our love story, the soccer scene. He performs Frankie Valli's I Can't Take My Eyes Off You. Apparently this wasn't in the original script, but what a way to show vulnerability. So creative, so inventive, and so memorable. This film does a great job of exploring universal themes of self-discovery and personal growth. Kat's journey in high school, we can all relate to this. She's having a difficult time finding out who she is by breaking from societal expectations that are so ingrained in our culture. By the way, if you wanna see a great example of an actor who takes creative risks, watch this film and then watch Heath Ledger's performance in The Dark Knight. He is totally invested in his characters, 100% present and he draws you in. Notting Hill, directed by Robert Mitchell, another great romantic comedy. This one is beloved because we take two characters from two different worlds, Hugh Grant and Julia Roberts, put them together, and we prove that love conquers all. Another classic Julia Roberts film, Pretty Woman. This one also explores love between social divides. Richard Gere and Julia Roberts have an undeniable chemistry. Anne Fletcher's The Proposal. This is a feel-good romantic comedy. We all know how it's gonna end, but we love the journey as we see this fake engagement turn into true love between two protagonists with electric chemistry. Silver Linings Playbook, directed by David O. Russell, is an edgier romantic comedy. It explores mental illness, so a lot of times it's pushing the envelope, but again, we go down to the performances Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence are fantastic in this movie. And Michael Showalter's The Big Sick breaks new ground. It deals with family, cultural differences, and a love affair in the midst of sickness. It's based on the real life experiences of Camille Nanjiani and Emily V. Gordon. And you can bet there's a great balance of heartfelt moments with comedic gags, especially when you have a talented supporting cast that consists of Ray Romano and Holly Hunter. There you go. You got some great romantic comedies to inspire your creativity. Now don't just watch them and think about making your own movie. Take action. Use what you learn and make us smile. Make us laugh and make us believe in the power of love. And I love you.